so what are our goals in administering trusts after somebody dies? Well, it's to collect the and manage the assets, to pay what, so my primary job as a successor trustee, right? My parent has now died and I've stepped into their shoes as the successor trustee. My primary jobs are to collect the assets, pay creditors that need to get paid, distribute those assets to the beneficiaries who inherit them, right? And in doing that, I have what's called a fiduciary obligation to those beneficiaries, which means I got to be really trustworthy. Uh, I've got to do a really good job and very carefully document everything I do uh, because I owe them this duty that is above and beyond by far just the general duty I might have to protect the property of someone else that's in my possession. You know, I borrow my friend's car. Well, I, I've got sort of a general duty to be careful and not crash his car, right? But that's not a fiduciary duty like being a trustee. A fiduciary duty means I have a level that I have to answer to that is very, very high. So I've got to be really careful in how I collect these assets, how I invest them. In, in a minute, we're going to talk with Rob uh, about some of these investment issues uh, and ultimately how I pay uh, the beneficiaries their money, how I pay creditor claims, right? If I've got received claims from people that I think are not valid claims against the trust or the estate, I've got to dispute those things. I can't just pay it off uh, because I received a notice from somebody that says, you know, my father owed them money. Now I've got to carefully review all of those things and carefully do what I do.